Good evening, students, faculty, friends, family, and 49ers faithful. I'm Joe Staley, proud student of Rockford High School and Central Michigan University. Oh, and a former offensive lineman for the San Francisco 49ers. I'm here tonight to extend my congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it! I know you expected your graduation to be different. The Staley family definitely had different plans for our oldest daughter who was just finishing up kindergarten. Some of you were excited about completing elementary school. Others were proud of getting through middle school. And some of you just finished up the books for good and are ready to hit the workforce. I know many of you missed your proms, sports seasons, or weren't able to participate in senior ditch day or attend that one last college party. But I promise you the future is still bright and it will always be if you continue to work as hard as you have. Just a few weeks ago, after playing 192 NFL games, I decided to hang up my cleats. So I know firsthand how hard it is to close a chapter and open a new one during this chaotic and uncertain time. But I also know we will get through this and come out stronger. Being able to move forward and graduate, despite the hurdles that this pandemic has thrown your way, speaks to your resilience. Whether you're leaving elementary, middle, high school, college, or vocational school, hold your head high, be proud, and know that you are ready for this. Be prepared hard, and now is the time to get out there and make your dreams come true. There is no doubt that this is a time we will all remember. Scary news on our televisions 24 hours a day, people wearing masks, social distancing from our families and friends, and the hardest part, rationing toilet paper. I mean, come on. We may not know everything the future holds, but there is one thing we all know for certain, that you all worked hard and now can call yourself graduates. I want you all to take this moment and look back at what you have already accomplished. Even if it feels trivial or small right now, it's not. Think about how you got here. What did it take? Who did you lean on? Thank those people. Thank your parents. I mean, actually vocalize your gratitude to them. I promise it will mean more to them than you think. Speaking of, shout out to my mom and dad, Butch and Jan Staley. Thank you for always being there and being the best parents ever. Thank your teachers. The end of the school year was tough for you, but it was just as tough for them. They've invested so much in your success and would have loved to seen you cross that stage. Lessons they taught will stay with you long past your time in the classroom. Mr. Folsick and Mr. Munger were some of my favorite teachers growing up and their impact is still felt in my life today. Not only what they taught, but how they taught it. Their ability to challenge me to give more and be the best version of myself is a lesson that I still lean on today. Thank your coaches. Believe me, they wanted nothing more than to see you succeed on the court and field by hitting the game-winning shot or knocking it out of the park. I have had the privilege of working with some amazing coaches during my career. They all gave unique perspectives and advice on how to develop my game to the highest level. Without each of their guidance, I would not have become who I was as an athlete. Coaches want nothing more than to see their players have success, and we should celebrate and be thankful for their investment in our lives. Finally, you take the time to thank your peers, your friends, and tell them that you are proud of them. Getting to graduation is a team effort, and sometimes your friends are the ones that help you cross the finish line. I will always remember this past season when George Kittle had three state defenders on his back and carried our team to victory. Being an offensive lineman was all about working with my teammates to get our job done. No egos, no one longing for the credit, coming together as a group to win the NFC Championship as a team. To me, the most lasting impression of our team last season was the selflessness that everyone exhibited to reach our goals. No one putting individual needs ahead of our team. That attitude will carry you far in life. Be grateful for the people and relationships that help you get to where you want to be and embrace being in that role for someone else. Before I finish and you get back to watching your 10th movie of the week, I wanna share three lessons that I've learned throughout football that have been important lessons throughout my professional and personal life. Number one, enjoy the moment. My decision to retire was not easy, and a big reason for that was how much I enjoyed so many things that the game provided me. Incredible memories and opportunities that have benefited me and my family. I worked my butt off, but I also laughed my butt off. Being present is one of the best decisions that you can make in life. Number two, stick with it. There are gonna be lows, for sure, that will make it hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you push through it, you never know what can happen. From 
2015 to 2018, 49ers won just 17 games in four seasons. It was very crushing. But my teammates and I kept at it. And last year, in just one season, we went 13 and three in the regular season and made it all the way to the Super Bowl. I'm a firm believer that if you keep working hard, take it one day, one moment at a time, things will turn around for the better. And lastly, get to know the people around you. Invest in people. Get to know their stories. Now, more than ever, it is important that we truly get to know people outside of social media, technology, and the internet. Talk to people, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask someone that you admire for advice. My guy, Mike McGlinchey, definitely had no problem doing that. Above all, try to understand why and how someone got to where they are, why they are who they are. Everyone has a story and there's a lot we can learn from one another. I have made countless relationships throughout my football journey with people I may have never had a chance to meet if it was not for this game. Special relationships that will be with me forever. The future is now in your young, capable, brilliant, innovative, creative hands, and I know that I can count on you guys to make it the best that it can be. You've heard enough from me, and it's time to start writing the next chapter in your life. But first, take this moment, enjoy it, and take it all in. You've graduated. Congratulations, class of 2020.